Hello, this is Vegas Pro 11 Tutorials, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do rotating 3D text in Vegas Pro 11. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to want to insert a video track, and then in this tab right here, go to Media Generators, Solid Color, and I'm going to drag down black. Next thing I want to want to do is I'm going to want to extend this by pressing Control on the right side of the at the end of the video and dragging it over to 15 seconds or as close to 15 seconds as I can get. The next thing you want to do is you're going to want to insert another video track and inside that video track you're going to want to insert text media. For this example my text is just going to say Vegas Pro 11 tutorial and that should be good. I'm going to take this out actually. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to outline you're going to want to go to outline color and I'm for this example I'm going to use red. Once you're done that you can go back to here and choose a nice even number or odd number if you want. I'm going to put two actually I'm going to put three. So once you're done that you can see how big the size of the font is if you want it to be bigger I'm just going to drag it out I want some nice big text and you can exit it out you're done I'm going to make this also 15 seconds just so everything's good the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to compositing mode and you're going to want to click 3D source alpha as you can see it hasn't done much but that changed to 3D you're going to want to go to track motion and you're going to want to go to rotation first. You don't need position at now, you will later. So you have a keyframe right here at 0, 0.000 whatever. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to leave it as it is. Well, for this tutorial you are. At around 5 seconds, you're going to want to insert a keyframe. Then you're going to want to go to Z. You're going to want to click, I'm just going to do negative 25. Oh, pff, Z. You're going to want to go to Y. Sorry. Y is the left and right. As you can see, oh, I said negative 25. Negative 25 will make it go that way. Now, at about 10 seconds, you're going to insert a keyframe. Then, you're going to want to go to 0. And then, on 15 seconds, you're going to want to go to insert a keyframe, and I'm going to do positive 25. And that'll make it so that the text, why didn't that work? 25. And that'll make it so the text is now here. So, negative 25 that way, positive 25 that way. It's not showing up on here, but you can see it through here. And actually, just to make it easier, if you want to make it end up so it's straight again, you can actually just extend the video length to 20 seconds. That'll give it a nice even amount and right there 20 seconds and right there 20 seconds and then at the 20 second mark you're going to want to insert another keyframe let's get the 20 seconds insert keyframe and click that back to zero and as you can see through here left back to middle right back to middle so Right now, the text will rotate, but it's not in 3D. So this is what we're going to do. For me, I'm just going to drag that up so I have more room. It's a small screen, but I'll zoom back in later. You're going to want to go here, to this part right here. Right-click, duplicate layer. Now, number two is the one that you want to go with, and you're going to want to go to track motion, and then position. For position, you're going to want to go to the Z tab, and you're going to want to click 10. Okay? Now, it'll be easier if you copy this, and then you have to go to every single keyframe, and just paste 10 in.
Now when you're done that, all the text will be moved back by a couple spaces on this 3D place right here. I'm not sure the name for it, I'm sorry. And that will be it for now. And then from you do it again. Duplicate layer. Same thing. And what this will do is it'll move it back because you don't want to do too much. Like you don't want to do a giant number at a time or else it won't look good. And you don't want to do it by too small of a number that it'll take you a thousand layers just to get it out a little bit. So this may be a little bit of a tedious task, but in the end it'll look really good. So I don't mind. Um, you don't have to do it that many times to make it pop out enough for you to actually realize it's to, well, to make it look 3D. I'm gonna do it about now. Uh, let's say I'm gonna put nine layers in. So in the end, when I'm doing the last layer, it'll be that I will type 90 into there instead of 30, and that'll be it. So I'm gonna come back to you when I'm done putting the 90s in, and I'll show you the final result. Hello guys, I'm back. Um, I did a slight miscalculation. When I said for a total of 10, I thought there was only this layer right here, the black, that I would have to think about. But I realized after that I had the first one with the Z coordinate was zero. So when I'm what like I'm about to finish now, I'm going to be doing the 80s. So there you go. I just finished right now, and as you can see, if you bring this back down, that text looks quite 3D. So if you drag yourself through the clip, that looks 3D. That looks like 3D rotating text. That's a good outcome, I think. And I'm going to render it, and I'll get back to you with the final result to play in normal motion. Okay, so the render just finished, and let's see the final result. As you can see, I made the text a little bit too big, so when it rotates, it goes off the screen. But that's okay, you can just obviously make it smaller, or if you don't mind it, you know, you can follow the same, same sizes that I did. So there you go, that's rotating 3D text in Vegas Pro 11. Uh, I am Vegas Pro 11 Tutorials. Thank you. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. And if you want to leave any suggestions for any videos I can do in Vegas Pro 11, please do so. And obviously if you want to exclude one of the steps I showed, being you just want to have rotating text or you just want 3D text, you can just take that part from this video. Thank you and have a good day.